Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I look rough and I sound rough. It is what it is. Uh, now, I woke up this morning with a really sore throat and barely able to talk, so I don't know what's going on, but um, I am making my family tonight for supper. We are having venison meatloaf, which is one of my favorite things. And I thought, man, I haven't cooked for you guys in a while, so I wanted to show you how I make this venison meatloaf. So, let's get cooking. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna show you really quick the ingredients that we're going to use now. I've made this so much that I pretty much eyeball um, the amounts. So here I have a, I think this is two pounds, I'm not sure, but it's uh, meat, um, ground venison that's been thawing. Um, so it's quite bloody here. Um, I think that's a couple of pounds and we're gonna use a lot of it, probably most of it, not quite all of it. <laughs> um, I've got a couple of eggs. How many do I have? I have exactly two. Um, I have two eggs. I'm going to start with one and see how it holds things together. I should only need one, but sometimes you never know. Uh, it just depends on how much fat was put in this venison. Um, I'm also going to use oats. Uh, I've got salt and pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, uh, ketchup, and some just leftover minced onion that I've got from another meal. Um, now, this is just how I'm gonna make the meatloaf part. The topping is gonna be different, so just bear with me. So I've got my oven preheating to 425 degrees, and on standby, I have my well-seasoned iron skillet that I'm going to be cooking this in. Okay, so I've got my meat in the bowl. Um, I'm gonna take this onion, this is probably about a fourth of a cup of just minced onion. Um, I'm going to season this really well with uh, probably about a teaspoon of salt, I'm guessing, um, and probably about a teaspoon and a half of black pepper. Oh my goodness, those onions smell so good. I'm gonna do about couple of teaspoons, about a teaspoon of garlic powder, and then about a teaspoon of onion powder. And you guys, you can get this off of my blog, which is www.thecaverswife.com. I am launching a new look, and I'm so excited. Okay, so now I'm going to do about a little more than a half a cup of oats. Um, I'm going to, my goal is to not have to cook tomorrow after church. I'm hoping this will be enough. Um, so I'm making a big meatloaf. I'm making a lot of collard greens. I'm going to add about a half a cup of ketchup okay and now we're just gonna mush this all together and the thing with meatloaf I see people when they make it they handle it way too much um, the more you mush it it just kind of gets really gross and pasty and you don't want your meat to be like that I think the one egg is going to be plenty. So you really just want to mush it together until it's combined. Just fold it all in. Since this is venison, there's not going to be a lot of grease. Venison is very lean. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I love it so much. Okay, all right, that's perfect. So now I have this 12 inch, I think this is a 12 inch, it might be a 14 inch um, skillet. And I'm doing this for a couple of reasons. One, I love how evenly cast iron cooks. Um, 
Also, I love Lodge because they are USA, the USA company, made in America. Um, also, I am trying to figure out what dishes I have that I can do without so I can get rid of them. Pull this out so, look. so you can see I just pretty much just made a huge hamburger patty. Okay, so now I'm going to put this in the oven. Uh, it's gonna, I'm gonna let it go for probably about 25 minutes or so. Um, at, about, at about the 25 minute mark, I'm gonna start making up the sauce that's gonna go on top, and then I'll show you what we do from there. Okay guys, I just checked on our meatloaf and it looks like it is ready for the sauce. So let me show you how I put this together. Okay, so to our bowl, we're going to add about a cup of ketchup. All right, we're gonna add about a tablespoon, no, uh, about a teaspoon of yellow mustard. We're gonna add a splash. We're gonna add a splash of white vinegar. We're gonna add just a little bit of salt for taste. We're gonna add a couple of dashes of hot sauce. We actually really love Frank's Red Hot, but we are out and this is what I have, so this is what I'm gonna use. A tablespoon of packed light brown sugar. And then I'm just gonna use my fork and whisk this all together. Once I have it mixed together, I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to adjust uh, any of the amounts. So I'm going to add a little bit more vinegar. So I'll make that two splashes of vinegar, <laughs> depending on how zesty you like it. All right, so there is the meatloaf. And now we're just going to pour our sauce on top. Just gonna ice it just like a cake and then this is gonna go back in the oven for about 10 more minutes all right you guys here is the finished product if I was feeling better it would have been mashed potatoes instead of rice but I just wasn't feeling the peeling and all that good stuff so we've got collard greens that we grew in our garden last year. We've got some white rice and we've got some meatloaf. So I'm gonna get this plated up and show you what it looks like. There's my plate, you guys. Doesn't that look awesome? So um, with collard greens, uh, one thing that we do in the South is we splash a little bit of white vinegar on it. I'm gonna be mixing my greens with my rice, so I'm not gonna do that. But um, anyway, there's the meatloaf. Let me show you how. So I'm gonna take a quick bite of this. And it's cooked all the way through. So, so very good. Sweet, tangy, meaty. Um, it's perfect. That's my washer. Okay, so I hope you guys give this recipe a try. Um, overall, I, I think the meatloaf was probably in the oven for about 40 minutes. Um, and But I think if you, if you want to check it with a meat thermometer, you want it to read at 160. So anyway, all right, I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you do, be sure to uh, let me know in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out my blog, www.thecaperswipe.com, where you can get a copy of this recipe. Okay, that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time.